Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. If you can hear the noise in the background, we got the pump running again. Look out there, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. It's already 80 degrees. I stacked a little bit of firewood this morning. My shirt is already drenched because the humidity is crazy out here, but these trees need some water and our big sprinkler there, which is an inch and a half full circle sprinkler that does about 70 gallons a minute or so is ready to be moved. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it. The coverage area on that thing is about a third of an acre at a time. So we can quickly cover a lot of this field in just a couple of hours and a half day or so. So that's what I'm working on right now. We're gonna go ahead and move it. I'm actually gonna bring it up here to the front of the field where I've got some Leland Cypress and some pines. Then I've got to run over to where the flowers are. We've got a bunch of flowers that are starting to bloom, but our U-Pick patch isn't quite ready yet. So we're basically just deadheading all of the blooms so that those plants continue to grow and continue to produce more flowers. So that's what I'm working on today. Follow along, it's gonna be a little fun. Here we go. I gotta make one quick adjustment, that sprinkler's leaning over, so it's shooting off real high on this side. So I'll just go ahead and grab it and straighten it out. Let it run here for 30, 40 minutes and that'll be good. This area up here doesn't need as much water because it gets afternoon shade from these trees behind me. And we're also downhill, so this tends to take a little longer to dry out when it's really hot. But I haven't watered up in this front corner in quite some time, so I just wanted to do it for a little while. And I've got two other lengths of this long hose, which uh, I'm gonna connect my second length, that's like way in the back of the field right now, to this one that's right in front of me. And then that half hour from now, when I go to move that sprinkler, I'm gonna put it way at the very back, back there where our smallest, newest trees are. We've got here six big rows. These are all 70 foot long rows of zinnias. We have six of those. We have seven of the cosmos that are behind me and pretty much everything is pushing flower heads right now. And we weren't really planning on opening for you pick sunflowers or anything else for at least a few weeks. Uh, in fact, we were thinking about having our first weekend being August 21st because that's when the sunflowers, the bulk of the sunflowers that we've planted should be timed around August 21st and then the subsequent weeks after that. We didn't expect this seed went in the ground uh, in the middle of June, I think it was June 12th. And here we are, middle of July, and we're already like fully bloomed out. I thought these would be out about 60 days. So uh, yeah, I'm a little surprised by that, but we're new growers, maybe that's normal. And what that leaves me with now is that I've got to keep a lot of these cut back um, 
we also going to probably want to consider opening for some Yupik, Cosmos, and Zinnias before our sunflower patch is ready. But that's uh, something that we'll have to think about in the next week or so. For now, though, I want to cut a lot of these blooms back so that these things have uh, time to heal and then push out some, some new flower heads in a few weeks. I only did three rows of zinnias. Already filled up a five gallon bucket. Now some of these in here are not open yet, like that one. And I don't know, if we put it in water, it might open. And some of these are right about at peak bloom, like that one. And some of these are just starting to open. So I'm gonna salvage a couple bouquets out of this. And you know, the rest of it will just end up pitching. But my goal, like I mentioned, is to prevent these from going to seed so that they keep putting out new flower heads and our experience last year which was our first year with zinnias was that these things will bloom for like three months uh, in fact ours last year might even went longer than that if you keep them trimmed up last year we did not keep up with it after we had our you pick events and they continued to push out blooms and it was really really impressive in fact when they uh, when they get more room right now the plants are kind of crowded but when they get more room they will branch even more and produce even more flower heads if you keep them trimmed so we've seen some and there's some in here already that have three or four branches and those could turn into three or four flower heads so like i said the more we keep those trimmed back the more it'll continue to branch and the more flower heads it'll continue to do i need to go through these cosmos because they've got a lot of flowers too I'm really just going to keep uh, a bunch or two of kind of the best blooms and the rest I'm just going to cut and leave on the ground for now. See, like this one's got a bloom all the way up here but it's not open yet but I'm just going to go down back to its first branch, snip it and leave it behind. Well, just like that, I got a huge handful of Cosmos and I've got a few extra zinnias on the back side of that. And I've got a whole bucket of zinnias. So I'm gonna make a bunch of bouquets with this and give them out to our uh, friends and neighbors. And then uh, I think I gotta talk to the missus about possibly opening up. Maybe as soon as next week, we'll pick a day or two during the week and open up and see if anybody wants to come pick some flowers because these things are ready and I hate to see them go to waste. Uh, since those zinnias started blooming within 30 days, I've got a few bare spots and I've got a little bit of seed left. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and plant a little bit of extra seed, planning on that by the time we get to the end of August, those will all be blooming too and we'll have just loads and loads and loads of blooms. So uh, thanks for checking out the channel today. It is now time for me to move the sprinkler again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And like I said, I'm going to drag it around to the back of the field, but I'm going to wrap us up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.